This is Access to Experts, where we interview business and professional experts and ask the questions you most want the answers to. Welcome, I'm Jodina St. John and this is Access to Experts. I'm very excited about our show today and if you work in an executive position in human resources, you will be as well. Our special guest is Christina Madrid, founder of the HR Executive Network. Christina is a peer group facilitator for human resource executives. She's a certified senior professional in human resources and holds numerous certifications both in business and life coaching. Christina, welcome and thank you for joining us today. Thank you for the invitation, Jodina. It's a pleasure to join you today. Why would an HR executive want to join a peer group? Well, Jodina, we all have a need to belong, and a peer resource group provides you with the opportunity to come together with peers who show up in support of a greater purpose. We also provide access to experts and resources on personal development topics like time management and life balance. It also gives you the opportunity to reconnect with yourself and renew your passion. There's a great convenience, too. There's no need to travel or leave your office to participate. So what makes you so effective as a coach? Well, I've been there. I worked as an HR executive, and I have a gift that where people see problems, I see solutions. I have a true passion for helping people find their way through the muck. You know, life doesn't have to be so hard. So true. Now, I understand that you left behind an executive position with a six-figure income to become a coach. I guess the question is why? Why take the risk? Well, I felt so disconnected from my life. The reasons I came into HR were no longer fulfilling to me. I felt like I was sacrificing my values. I was working too many hours and spending time away from my family. And I really wanted to follow my passion and desire to start my own business to help focus on helping others. Okay, I did some reading. I have your article here, The Top Five Mistakes Made by HR Executives and How to Avoid Them. You mentioned the number one mistake is going it alone. Tell us a little bit more about that. Well, it's quite common for executives to feel like they have to have all the answers. And they are, truly are going it alone a lot, operating in complete isolation. And a peer resource group provides a confidential and supportive environment where you can come together with your peers who really understand what you're going through. Now, the next mistake you talk about in the article is investing in yourself. How does this relate to HR executives? Well, it's quite common to invest in ourselves professionally, and we forget to take care of ourselves personally. You know, we put ourselves last a lot. It's, it's quite common to take care of others, but the focus isn't on us as much as it should be. Isn't that the truth? Okay, going on with the top five mistakes that HR executives make and uh, most importantly how to avoid them, you mentioned that you need to have somebody to talk with. Isn't everything that comes your way as an HR executive confidential? Oh, absolutely. And we really don't have people coming in and talking about specific people and places and things that are going on in their companies. That needs to remain there. What we really want to do is provide people with someone to talk to so they can connect on a personal level, you know, somebody who's been there, who knows what's going on, to help them shift perspective and decompress. I can imagine that working in HR at an executive level can become very draining. You mentioned that the fourth mistake actually is getting sucked into the negative aspects of the position. How can you avoid that? It's really easy to lose perspective and get sucked into the negative aspects of the position. You know, HR executives are dealing with some pretty heavy issues and we often get caught in the middle. It's important to have people to talk to and decompress and I have some strategies to help you shield yourself. And lastly, in your article, the top five mistakes that HR executives make and how to avoid them, you talk about the need to take time out and that this is a common mistake that HR execs make. Yes, Jodina, I think all executives make the mistake, we're talking about HR people here today, that we don't take time out. We tend to put everyone else's needs first, and there are often long hours involved in working in human resources, and it's really important to take time to refresh and recharge. You know, HR executive worked really hard to get to where they are now. You're not going to lose your job by taking a day for yourself, and in fact, you know, we come back refreshed and with new ideas. Okay, this is some great information. So let's recap so that we have the five mistakes. Could you do that for us, Christina? What are the top five mistakes that HR professionals are making? Absolutely. Mistake number one is going in alone. Mistake number two is not investing in yourself. Mistake number three is not having someone to talk to, you know, a lack of personal connection. 
mistake number four is losing perspective or getting sucked into the negative aspects of the position and not knowing how to get out of that. And mistake number five is not taking a time out. Christina, I've heard you say an informed client is your best client. As the expert, what do you think are the three most important questions that HR professionals should be asking before choosing a consultant such as yourself? Well, you want to ask yourself, what are you really struggling with? What are my top three challenges? If you don't know, that's okay. We work together to flesh that out. Okay, and what's the next question? We're looking at the top three questions that we should be asking before joining a peer resource group or choosing a consultant. You really want to find out what the person's background is. It's important if you work with a coach to work with somebody who understands you, who's been in your shoes and who can really identify with what you're struggling with. And lastly, the third question? Well, how are you going to help me? It's really important to work with someone who can design options to meet your specific needs. Christina, your knowledge and the commitment you have for your clients really comes through. And I have to say, I was impressed with your amazing guarantee. Will you share that with us? Sure, Jodina. You know, I'm very passionate about helping you achieve balance and reconnect to your work and your life. Our work together is guaranteed. As a client, you have unlimited access to my protege program and you can participate as you like. My guarantee is intended to demonstrate my commitment to you helping you achieve your goals, not only today, but for a lifetime. Christina, thank you so much. I know that a lot of our audience viewing today will want to get in touch with you. How can they reach you? Well, Jodina, not only can they reach me, but I will be happy to offer your audience a no-obligation free initial consultation. I will offer a 30-minute no-obligation phone call and career assessment. At the end of our call, you will have at least three options for solving your most challenging problems. They can reach me at 760-805-7952. Also, I have a great gift for your audience, my report, the top five mistakes made by HR executives and how to avoid them, which they can download for free by visiting my website at hrexecutivenetwork.com. Thanks again for joining us today. I really appreciate you sharing this great information. You're very welcome, Jodina. It's been my pleasure. I'm Jodina St. John, and this is Access to Experts. Today's guest, Christina Madrid, founder of HR Executive Network. You can get Christina's free report, The Top 5 Mistakes Made by HR Executives and How to Avoid Them, by visiting her website at hrexecutivenetwork.com. This has been Access to Experts, where we interview business and professional experts and ask the questions you most want the answers to. 